what, how little, how big, whatever. It equals the same thing. It's fucking amazing. I'll tell you that much. Bob, can I give you... I think you're going to a caravan, but can I give you s skills? Uh, Beryl's having a daze. Let's see. Two plants. No. Cystic. This is ad break to achieved by Grim. Kiss a coffee in you. Yeah, Grim's requested an additional ad. Um, if you need to go have a drink, go to the bathroom, do a chore or something. Now's your time. I'll still be here when you just get back. Um, letting the ad run and stuff does help me out. So if you want to leave the stream running, it's what? Well, well, no, you don't. Sass. Uh, no. All right, here's the fun part is getting enough people in the area. I don't want to get Bob in on this, but if I can just one at a time. There we go. All right, you lot. This lot. There we go. Fucking hell, that's annoying. All right, go for it. I'm going to need... Ellie can have her days. Farrell can have the days. I don't think Sass is going on any particular trip. I'll save this so we don't kill him. I I cannot wait to get off this specific location so that um, shit like this is not a problem. Because if I get attacked later, the very last thing I want to have happen is get attacked by... Oh, you fucking bastards. Is to get attacked by like a group that's big enough to potentially require every single colonist to be an attack because that I'm sitting there clicking on like 200 plus characters and being like get battle ready and then when I want to select them again I have to I can't double click on the character I have to go and select the area and try to select the people so yeah it's fun no Azula you trying to you trying to turn over West Phoenix Either Phoenix is like directly behind me or he's not in the room, which is really weird because the heat is on. Odd for him not to be in here. Yeah, sounds like so much fun. Yeah, look, I do hope that like my other mods come back. Let's get Williams to not. If you could just not, Williams. Stop. Stop, go away. These ones, oh, you've got a weapon. Oh, shit, you're going after him. Okay, well, that's kind of fair, to be honest. I think that's fair. Um, don't you shoot. That might have been what happened before. I didn't see the gun. There we go. Yeah, and also the undoing of each one. I hope that that gets fixed up. Obviously, they'll probably bring out an update in, like... Mm, you're not allowed self-10. So this will be interesting. Yeah, I do hope that they bring up an update soon. Like, they've updated two days in a row, at least on my computer. It said that they've updated twice. I'm hoping that um, it will kind of, like, either fix up, like, some of the mods will fix up or, you know, other stuff, features in the game and stuff will fix up. That will be nice. Like, being able to select everybody. I don't think that that's something that they would have disabled between modes. I don't feel like that is. I also don't know why there's a rhino in the place. Crab, what are you doing? Ah, uh, psychic drone. That's right. I kind of forgot the psychic drone was happening. Enge, you might be in trouble. You too. I might as well just select this individually. Jet. All right. You too. I'm gonna need you to attack crab. And nah, I saved. I saved soon enough. This will be fine. Let's see how it goes. Because that rhino has swagger. That's why. Maybe. Look, I just gotta find out if my rhinos are on like a special path through the building or not. There we go. Because if they are, I don't really want them inside. That and my thrombos could definitely stop. Man, can you pick up, pick up jet? Is it jet that's down or is it Ango? That might be crab. Crab's got nine hours. Eh. They're taking it to the nearest hospital. They should be fine. It's this one up here that I need to watch because somebody's on seven hours of health. There. This one. Like, they might get there in time. It should be fine. Man, my numbers. So fucking tiny. Like, there's other people in here that are on, like, the verge of being pissy and shit. And you know what I should do? Is self-aware. Can I get you destructing heater? I'll tell you what. You can activate the psychic soothe and maybe stop some people from killing. And after you've done that, you hit up the other one and make sure nobody's fucking pissy. 
that should help us a whole heap. I'm just hoping that the uh, whoever Voz is carrying doesn't die. Also not sure why that duck is down. Malnutrition extreme. What the fuck did ducks eat? They used to eat my plants. Hmm. I guess my people have to feed them now or something. Alright, you. You've got six hours. Who can do healing shit? It's in this area. It's not Congo, I'll tell you that much. Not you. Ender. Let's see. Nope. Campbell. Nope. Kimmy. Kimmy can. Kimmy can. I don't know where Hajuka is. Still somewhere. I'm pretty sure that this one should be fine down here, but I'll just check on them. They've got like nine hours, so... Who else is in this area? I don't see anybody else coming down. Maybe Rook? Nope. I'm looking for people that might be wandering in here. If I was to click on you, who says that Weeks is worker? I didn't think Weeks was in the base. It's news to me. That would be so funny if it thinks that people that are outside the base can like heal people in here. I should actually check if Weeks is in here. I could find her. I think I could find her this way. No. I could find her like by sorting that. That would work. Mm, there we go. Well, that was quick. Now oh, Weeks is here. I thought she was in a caravan. Maybe not. I guess not. All right. Now, Bob, I was giving you skills. Let's see, I was giving you like, what we got here? We've got construction, don't really need that. I just clicked off you, that's fine. Let's see what humans got. You got high crafting, what about wolf? Wolf has got some good skills. Let's share. you could do with more animals. Do I have animals? I thought I had one in here. Crafting, cooking, construction, cooking, plants. Nah, I've got cooking, construction and all that stuff. That odd. What have you got? Um, plants. Uh, I had plants for one of them. I had cooking for another. Ray Wolfen. Ray Wolfen could get more cooking. What are you doing? Gathering supplies. Should probably wait till you put shit down. What are you doing, Tranker? You could do. I could introduce you to cooking because you're like crafting and plants and shit. Like, you're not super fond of cooking, but I could do with some cooks right now. So, let's get you in here learning some learning some skills. Eh, not that. Although, it wouldn't hurt to give you that. That'll make you an all-rounder. And cooking. I think that's probably too many, but you're starting with one. So, I'll see where this goes. Um, and I might as well, since I've got you, uh, give you cooking skills. Because they're going to go real high up in basic construction skills. There we go. They should be able to do a fair bit after this, honestly. Construction and that, and what is the other one? Plants. How many are you using? You do like plants. <laughs> Imagine that, I just give them everything. Um, they don't, uh, I could give them, hold up. Use the plants after that. I'll give them that, and I'll give somebody else. I know McDolly's on the death list. Ali, how are you? What is this? Crafting. You have like really low crafting. What's Jing thing got? I don't have crafting, not really. Peter's. Read the fucking hell, get down here. There we go. Get you some skills. I mean, they're mostly cooking, but at the moment, if they've got spare time. Like, I've got benches in here. We've got like. They could be using these, like any of the ones that are like not electric, they could be in here cooking on them. That's a thing that can be done. I'm pretty sure they're all set up. Yeah. yeah they're all set up. They should be fine. All right. Well, now as soon as they've already done that, sweet. So I now have no more skill trainer things. It's nice. Used up that. I kind of feel like deconstructing a lot of the wooden stuff so then it's just like wood pile. But yeah, I won't do that. I wish I could kind of sort this in a same sense. I wish that I didn't sort this. 
to be like, oh, I have like buildings, but it's like, uh, like a certain kind of quality. Like I could take chairs out of here, just put them over there. But yeah, I have a lot of chairs in storage at the moment. I also just have a lot of chairs. There'd be a waste to kind of pick them all up and stuff. My caravans arrived home. So you guys. I can't get them to drop everything, which means my people have to come to it and actually empty them physically and stuff. But these should have the chem fuel and stuff on it that we're looking for for these. Which means, if I can get that one, I don't know why I haven't got that set to build. But since I've got enough fuel for this for a little bit, like I've bought some 300 something chem fuel at some point. So I'm hoping that I should have enough to fill at least both of these. Plus my chem reactor constantly making stuff should also be doing stuff. Uh, that should get removed. I'll probably end up just picking up all the lights and honestly taking that with me. I don't know. I'll probably just like color them whatever when I get there. Now that I don't have prisoners, get rid of this. Kaboom? What do you mean kaboom? Are you doing Atraxia? Managed to get you to catch a couple of streams this like past fortnight. Um, how you been? What are you up to tonight? Or... I think morning for you, isn't it? I'm not sure. Yeah, you're good. Nice. Nice. That's always good. Um, well, my colony survived the 1.5 update. They're trying. They're at Grimstone. Grim, you've been uh, tentacled, I guess. That's. <laughs> I'm not going to say that again. Um, is it 6 p.m.? Well, ah, uh, it's like almost 2 a.m. for me, so. I, I try to like logic it. That's it with my new hours. When I wake up, I can at least catch the end of your stream. Nice. That's pretty awesome. And you've got like more hours and stuff. Or is it just like changed hours? Because I know you were talking about that the other day. Just like trying to remember stuff. Nice. You got more now. Sick. I'm fucking happy for you. Um. Like, so much- oh, my second caravan's back. Like, so much has been, like, happening to everybody's hours around lately. It's been, like, it's kind of been, like, a mess for everybody. So I'm glad that yours are, like, fixing up. You know? Because, yeah. Oh, uh, is the inside broken as well? Is that what it is? I must have, like, a door or something in here that's, like, not shut because it's counting inside. Unless it's picked up that one, too. I'll pick that up. Ah, oh, let's grab that one, too. There we go. All right. Yeah, no, it's it's enclosed. It's fine. Yeah, so my um, uh, my game updated to like 1.5, but we kind of broke a few things. Like there's a lot of... I don't have any mods, but four of them are not working out of my six. So I only have um, deep stacks and hugs lib. Um, I also lost the textures of my background and all my flooring and stuff like that. I've got some problems with my interface disappearing. Um... I've got some problems with like my interface getting stuck on um, and some other stuff. So we're moving. So you know how I moved last week? We finally arrived and we finally got settled. Yeah, no, we're moving again. I'm almost there tonight. This guy's like, he's probably like probably 10 minutes out. I'll, I'll wait till he arrives and we'll settle. And then I'll have to just fix up all my caravans that are nearly there to fix it up. But yeah. I've sent out a whole bunch of caravans to traders to try to get some chem fuel and some components and stuff so I can keep using the um, transport pods to send it out, which is helping. It's helping me get shit there and get people and get um, food and resources and stuff there. So if you're going to get any mod, I recommend that one. Let's, what's that? Let's you, all your colonists share hauling to things. Um, yeah, no, I'm still not adding any mods. If I can help it, I'm going to try to continue to play through Asora without adding any mods. I don't know if that means I won't have all of my mods. Like I, if I'll lose a couple maybe if they don't update. But my hope is that like they will update and I'll get to use the same ones from start to finish. Because that would be really epic to go like across a couple of years and just have like the exact same conditions for play the whole way through. Obviously at the moment I don't, like I can't edit my caravans and um, the order of my colonists is jumbled. 
so it's fucking annoying and there's a few different things but aside from that it's not the worst um animals on the map also don't reproduce as much so i'm not getting as much food which does kind of suck but it is a trade-off to the game still surviving as opposed to completely dying you know so the worst case scenario was that asora was going to end because you know i you know couldn't update it and get it to work but it is working and there are some changes that are kind of cool it's just that my map is glitchy so as soon as i can move from it It'll be fixed up and it'll be fine again. I tested that out. But, yeah, I have to move first. And I've got a lot of shit to move and a lot of shit to abandon. I've got quite a lot of money here. I don't want to bring back more steel because I think I've got, like, 10 grand in steel back home. I think we're okay for that. Already got components. I already sold stuff. Um, I could load them up with a bit more food. They're down to, like, four days worth of food. Some nutrient paste things. Is that rotten half a day? Jesus. All right. Um, I think these ones did want carnivore meals. It'd be two and a half days. They probably won't get back with that much. Maybe ten. That would give us seven days to get back. Now, if I brought back donkeys, they'd just get killed. Let's see what else can I do. So I've got medicine. I could load up on steel. I could bring more books back. I just used up my skill trainers. I don't want to buy them. There is a Psychic Shock Lance. I could buy that. That's not really making much of a dent. I've got to get that down a little bit. I could buy gold. They'll get attacked. Get telescope. They've got some stuff here, actually. Uh, steel chest table. I don't really want that. The TV. I'll take those. I would like the flat screens, though. Um, I guess we can afford that. So I guess we're bringing home our first flat screen TV. I might as well bring home a smoke pop. It's almost there. I get attacked for this shit. That's the only problem. I don't know how many colonists I've got in this caravan. I've got two. So I don't know if they can fight or not. I would like to bring home like a decent gun or something. That's like a little bit too much. I only need about a hundred bucks worth of something. Um, what can I do? I could do like a hundred bucks at this. I could just load that up. It's like down to like 300. Well, they can carry it though. So why the fuck not? They've still got money to spare. Let's bring back a couple of books. Mm, it's almost too little. All right, hold up. Let's do that to 20. Make it a zero. Yeah, I can deal with that. Let's go. All right, send you guys back home. So I'm trying not to load up with too much steel because I have to essentially take it from here to the new location. But I also require a certain amount of steel to keep making these transport pods and... Um, being able to like keep building them and stuff and I think when I build one of these they're like 60 steel each but they're only one component if I had additional steel I could make a fabrication bench and I could make components and at the moment based on that I could make up to 655 transport pods without much of an issue the problem I've got is I don't have the biofuel the chem fuel stuff um, but I may not have enough steel for that if I divided that down by it all just depends um how is everybody doing with their social needs they feel all right even though there's a psychic drone although you're a dude so where's what's uh Diego? male eva female right, how's your social needs by comparison 26 but maybe has incendiary weapon i didn't realize that made them happy but all right Let's see psychic drone is 30 we've almost combated it I think I can boost it up to three, but I don't want to waste an extra one right now. That's fine. Here. Like I said, I probably could have left some of the cooking things, but I don't have that much food and stuff, which reminds me, I also haven't killed some of the stuff on here. I've got bisons to attack. i got to attack them. I've probably got enough people to attack some of the rhinos and stuff. See, this is the kind of the difference between wild reproduction. Instead of having a list all the way up to here, I literally only have like a couple of items of animals and stuff out on the map at a time. Uh, Lola, you just got home. What is your bio? You do cooking. Alright. Well, I can't do too much about that. I only have so many benches up at the moment. Although I have got benches in here. Are they just not? Oh, let's unsuspend those. It's 
probably what happened is I probably suspended them from the last location. Look at me a couple of extra people cooking on these. I think that one's suspended. What's that? Uh, caravans. Wait, caravans arrived at destination? Fuck yeah. Hold on. Here we go. Alright, I can settle. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Oh, yeah. It's like I've kind of like had a run through. Like I said, I checked out where was all the best locations and stuff to settle my colony and shit. And I pretty much came to the conclusion that this was it. And I kind of liked it because it reminded me a lot of my Hatora base location. Like visually, all this like beachy area over here. Not the same, but it's kind of similar. Um, so if I was to bring in a photo of Hatora's colony, which is this one, you guys can kind of see how like I built up to the edge of the water. And if I was to like bring this over a little bit, it's not going to be exactly the same kind of thing because I did have like an inlet going through it. But at the same time, I like the idea of this location for that reason. It reminds me a lot of my Hatora base. So I'm going to build on this. And I may, what I might do is, because I know this is going to take me a shit ton of time um, to put a layout, sometime between this week and next week, I might sit down and while paused on stream, I might set up where they're going to build everything. What was that? Out in the, oh, it's grass in the water. All right. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, like with Quillen, how we came back and I had like a layout and stuff. Because it took me too long to try to figure it out while I was on stream. There was a little like back and forth and stuff. But yeah, what is this place called temporarily until they name it? Bonwood. That's not too bad. Bonwood's all right. Yeah, I reckon that would be pretty cool. So we got ourselves a second location, well, third location, I guess, on the map now, here to here. My two caravans, I need to set you guys up so that you're still headed towards Bonwood. This will rename after they settle there for a little while, by the way. They'll be like, what do you want to call it? And I'll be like, I actually don't mind Bonwood, but I'll probably give it a variation of something, like how Quillen used to be in Lytton. And I have no fucking clue what Salvation was. It's so long ago. But yeah. I'm going to save it here, but this is where we're at. So hopefully while I'm offline and everything's paused, I will go into Bonwood and I'll put a layout kind of like I did with this. And that way when we hop in next week, my hope is that I'll come in and I'll be like, hey, I have a layout for this already. Because what I really want to do is I want to put, and I couldn't do it on Quillen because I just couldn't fucking figure it out ever is I want to put their housing and bedding in like a straight line, not along the top, but like a straight, straight down line, like here on the outside and maybe even on the inside up to like here as almost like a defensive thing. So I think I worked out I need 216 beds. So I need, since I want to have and see if I can get back up to like 240 odd, I'll see if I can make like, I don't know, 230, 240 beds. I think 240 would be great if I can fit it. That's like a nice, neat, even 120 on both sides bedrooms. And yeah, I plan to do that as basically like a straight fucking wall with like turrets on the back and the front of it. So it would be double armored. I think that's going to be awesome. So what I'm talking about here also, I guess what I can do is like the other thing too that's awesome is I can just go the whole way across now. It's no more going only to 52. That's as far as you used to be able to go with this. I don't know when they changed it. I don't know if that's part of this, but if I want to, I can select the whole fucking map. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, what I'll probably do is I'll have to bring it into at least, at least three from, well, I don't have to bring it in anywhere, but the walls itself, I'll need to have it in at least three away from a turret so about there so if a wall was like here for instance right if the building was about there I think a bedroom is about a standard four or something like that four by four or something inside if I was to do hold on I do that a three by three is too small four by four equals like a who fucking knows like 28 or some shit um and then take it out by one wall so get rid of all this shit here 
and it would be about roughly where I know this is the worst fucking spot to put it but then another three out at least the minimum for another turret here so that could easily be like this being where like turrets are here kind of thing and bedrooms in between it that takes up a very small portion of the map but then what I can do with this kind of idea is I can have like a straight wall like chunk like that that's just like a fence fenced off area and then that way I only have so many fenced areas that I need to have like a couple of like piddly fences in amongst like walls of stuff extra turrets I'll obviously have to make like walkways and tunnels and shit like that and I have so fucking many ideas for this shit but yeah I'm gonna take that to doing that offline um, because it's gonna take me a long time. Obviously I'm not gonna build anything until I'm on stream next but I do have a lot of plans for this layout and I do want to take some of the design ideas from Hatora and bring it into this so that um, I can kind of mesh in some new sort of style. I think I'm gonna keep bedrooms probably relatively square for this just to give it a solid border. I previously tried to make it round that is not going to work for this, not for what I'm trying to do. I just need to make sure that for whatever the turret radius is for exploding, like I've got this out by, I think it's six, give or take. Have a look at this. Yeah, I've got it six from the wall. So in the most case scenario, I might have it like a turret on the line, wherever those dots are, bring those back. So wherever the line is, right? Wherever this is, I might build turrets like right up against this, no problems, but I may have to build like six, six or so in, so something to like that effect kind of thing. Yeah, there's something about that, like there, kind of distance in, I'll, I'll highlight this a bit more out there, kind of distance. So we'll end up with like a buffer of a border kind of thing, that'll be the kind of the difference we've got here. But yeah, I think that's going to look really cool. I like having some fucking water on my map that isn't like a skewly going into weird places. Obviously like patches like this might disrupt some of like the building, but depending on where the fuck the center of this place is, if it's what, 231, 231 across, let's take it into about 115. Yeah, wherever the fuck 115 is. 115 and... Oh, if I could take it down, 115 to there. This is kind of, that's about central central. So that might disrupt some of the placement, but not necessarily entirely. I don't have to make it fucking centered. I could center it from, actually, that's what I did on Hatora is I ignored this whole waterways area and I centered it from wherever I could actually physically build along here, which pretty sure I can build on sand I just can't build in that so wherever the water comes in the most would be like here that would be where my wall would start and then I'd go in from there and then whatever's the middle of grounds in here that's where I would build so that's pretty much what I'm gonna start doing um and see how on this map do you see how like I don't have to be clicked on anything at all and my fucking stuff stays yeah it's fixed on this map. So, I mean, the animals still do weird shit, but, I mean, it's an improvement. Any other thing, too, is I want to see. Is it? No, nah, that's got to be that's got to be something else that they've updated and changed. That's annoying. But, um, yeah. Look, if I can have at least a couple of things on this map fixed, that would be amazing. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, I guess, layout-wise and stuff offline. But um, kind of working on next week will be kind of building a main structure. Probably a freezer of some sort. Not that I really see. There is some steel, I think, here. Yeah, it's steel. So, yeah, there might be some steel on this map. There is an ancient danger down here. So there's that and there's actually two. Wow. Okay. I haven't had two ancient dangers for a very long time. The other thing I want to check too is where the where the thermals are. 
you know, the thermal geyser thing, the geothermal things. I'm going to have a look for those. Actually, I can find them a bit faster with this normally. Sometimes it kind of shows up, but I guess not. Where the fuck is one? There's one. Okay. Let's see. Okay, three. Four. I saw a map the other day that had fucking six of these. Okay, it looks like I only have four of these. By the look of it. I have five. I've got five selected somehow. I just don't see them all. But there's one, two, three. I don't see one over here, but it's there's four. Where is this? <coughs> Sorry. Um, I don't see where the fifth one is. It has to be like over here or something where I can't quite see it clearly or something. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw that one. But yeah, I guess I've got five of them here somewhere. Um, I wish they were a little bit easier to see. That would be great. But yeah, I've got five of those. I'll use those in amongst the area as well since they kind of fall in, in amongst it. And yeah, fucking hell. Can't wait to get creative with this shit. But 